I'm Reese and welcome to the kitchen. We're in Dallas in my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken salad with mandarin oranges and nuts. It's really good. I actually got the recipe from the caterer at my grandmother's funeral. It was so good I had to find out what was in it. So let's make this chicken salad and I hope you enjoy it. The ingredients you'll need. You'll need chicken. I have boiled, it's about two and a half chicken breast um, that I had, so I boiled it. You can boil it, bake it, use leftover fried chicken, whatever you have, or you can buy a rotisserie chicken and just rip it up, shred it. You'll need mandarin oranges, you'll need salt and pepper. You'll need nuts. I've got walnuts here, so I'm using walnuts. You could use pecans or almonds. You'll need an onion. You'll need a good quality mayonnaise. And you'll need some cayenne pepper and some paprika. And that's all you'll need for this. The equipment you'll need, you'll need a bowl, a mixing bowl. I am just going to make mine in what I shredded my chicken in because... I'm not serving it, I'm just making sandwiches with it, so I'm just going to stick it in the refrigerator, so I'm just going to make it in my storage. You'll need a can opener for the mandarin oranges, a spoon, a spoon to stir, some measuring spoons, a one cup measuring cup, and a small grater to grate your onion. Okay, let's get started on the chicken salad. Now like I said, I probably got like two cups of chicken here. I had like two and a half basically uh, medium size chicken breasts that I just boiled and then I shredded. You could certainly use a rotisserie chicken and just shred it up. I prefer the white meat so that's why I do the breast. So. To this, and sometimes it's easier to stir with a fork. I've got a spoon here. I may switch to a fork, we'll see. To this, I'm going to add about a cup of mayonnaise. And um, everybody has their different preferences on mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. Um, so you can just put in mayonnaise and see you want it to coat the chicken but if you like less mayonnaise or more mayonnaise you know feel free to add what you like as cooking is to everyone's own personal taste choice so I've added my mayonnaise and stirred it up I'm going to add walnuts to mine. You can add pecans. That's really good. But I am going to add about half a cup of nuts. It's just an accent. You don't want it to overwhelm. You can also add almonds. That's also really good. But I had walnuts, so that's what I'm going to use. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of grated onion. As I've said before, I like to grate. It adds the juice and the flavor without giving an overwhelming bite. I love onions and I don't mind the bite, but a lot of people aren't so fond of raw onion. and Grating it is also a good way to hide it because most recipes that call for onion, you know, the onion really enhances the recipe. And so sometimes if you put the onion in, people are like, oh, I don't like onion. But if you grate it, they never know it's in there. I've got a, a small can of mandarin oranges drained. And I'm going to put those in there. You can always put more or less. Mine is going to have a lot. Stir, and as you stir, it kind of chops them up a little bit. Put 
this this is a really good good like I said I the caterer at my grandmother's funeral had this and she loved to cook and bake so I think she would really like that I came away with the recipe so I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste just a little probably half a teaspoon of salt and then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of paprika and oops, I spilled it. I am going to just add a dash of the cayenne pepper. Once again, cayenne pepper is something everyone has a preference on. You just want it to add a little spice. It's got the sweet of the oranges and the cayenne just kind of adds a little bit of a spiciness to it. You don't want it overwhelming, you just want a hint. So just put it in there, stir it all together, and then just take a test taste and see what you might want to add more. Mine tastes great, so I'm not going to add anything else. So, serve this on a bed of lettuce, or serve it on a sandwich. It's really good on a health nut bread, or a white bread, whichever you prefer. And I think if you like mandarin oranges, you'll really love this recipe. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.